Lord, you can have my notes anytime. Please, whatever you do, don't look at me like I'm some high and mighty, wonderful man. I don't know what in the world I'm doing. The only thing I do know is I cry out and die a thousand deaths before I come up here and say, Holy Ghost, without you, I can't do a thing. And without you, I don't want to do a thing. There's a trembling in me, and Holy Ghost, please never let it go away. It says, oh God, don't leave. Holy Ghost, it's you that does the work. I'm telling you, your sins are remitted right now in the presence of the living King of Kings and Lord of Lords, Jesus Christ. Thus saith the Holy Ghost, thy sins are forgiven. The blood of my son cleanses you from all your sin. First John chapter 1 verse 7. Holy Ghost says I'm not through with you. Holy Ghost says I'm not through with you. God Oh, Lord. Upon your sons and your daughters, Lord, I prophesy fresh oil, fresh oil. Psalms 92 and 10, I shall be anointed with fresh oil, fresh oil. Powers of darkness being dispelled because Holy Ghost has come. Holy Ghost has come. I'm not my own. No Holy Ghost to you I belong. What know ye not? Your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. What you have from God and you're not your own. Been bought with a price, therefore glorify God in your body and your spirit, which are the Lord's. 1 Corinthians 6, 19 and 20. It's not my body. No, Holy Ghost is yours. Yes, it is. I present my body and use a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable. I've got my reasonable service. Romans 12, 1. Come on, young people, give him your bodies and I dedicate your bodies to. 1 Corinthians 6, 13 said the body is not for fornication. The body is for the Lord and the Lord is for the body. I mean, you know, if you completely surrender to the Holy Ghost, you must give him your body. He said, in your body and your spirit, which are the Lord's. We, we got some superficial so-called saints nowadays. They have spiritual experiences with God so-called. They commit their spirit, they say, but their body still runs wild and loose. I call them sheep going wild because they ain't sleeping anything they want to and still come to church. And hallelujah, hallelujah. No, commit your body to Him. When you commit your body to Him, He'll empower you to lay down like people did last night, those cigarettes. You shall receive power after that. The Holy Ghost has come on you, Acts 1. You get saved, He comes on you, but when He fills you and baptizes you with the Holy Spirit, with Holy Ghost, that the sin you gets on you. And Lord, I pray tonight as you come in that you would at the same time come on. 
God, I pray people be filled with the Holy Ghost in this hour and just repent their sin and turn into you with their whole heart. Lord God, that they will receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost and with fire. God, with the initial, the beginning evidence of speaking with other tongues of the Spirit of God, grants that utterance. Acts 2, verses 4. I had some trouble try to argue on YouTube not long ago. When your ministry goes on the internet like this, you'll find out demons know how to text too. They tried to prove to me with all their theological study that when the Holy Ghost baptizes you, you won't speak with other tongues. And I said, all I know is the book of Acts chapter 2 is the only church Jesus began. And it weren't a denomination. We've made Pentecost denominationalism. It is not. It's the church of Acts. It's the only one Jesus ever started. And they spake with other tongues as the Spirit of God gave them the utterance. They weren't trained how to do it. Nobody taught them how to do it. The Holy Ghost came on them and out of their belly flowed rivers of water as a resurrected sign of living proof that Jesus is seated at the right hand of God the Father. Acts 2 verse 33. Come on somebody. Friend, I don't care what the naysayers say and what the religious gurus declare. Hallelujah. What Brother Jack Frost says down in Temple in Glue. My God, when the Holy Ghost, amen, Lord, that God baptizes you, you will speak with other tongues as he gives the other. All through the book of Acts, except in two places. When it refers to people being filled with the Holy Ghost, they were speaking with other tongues. Amen. So lift your hands and receive you the Holy Ghost. Receive means you don't earn nothing, you don't buy it, it's been bought. And it is the gifts, it is the power, but He is Holy Ghost. Receive Him and what He offers. It's been purchased. The Passover bloody lamb of God purchased the Pentecostal power of God for everyone to experience. If you've been washed in the blood, receive ye the Holy Ghost. Receive ye the Holy Ghost. Receive the Holy Ghost. Holy God. Receive the Holy Ghost. Where's Brother Shorty at? Start laying hands on people. Just start going go around. And as the Lord leads you, Brother Shorty, just lay hands on people. I'm telling you, that's power of God on that little man. That's it. Let just you, you touch him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Receive you the Holy Ghost. Somebody that's in your belly, open your mouth and let it out. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Not out of your head, but out of your belly shall flow the rivers of living blood. John 7, 37. Thank you, Lord. Receive. Receive. Power of God, my God. Power of God. Your pastor said tonight it's not always in the shout. I looked over at my wife and I said that's the Holy Ghost because God told me tonight it wouldn't be about all the shout. Your hands. This is a whole lot. These people still up here praying through, giving their life to Jesus. I, I, I can hear them being led to the Lord. They're, people still calling on Jesus. God, let every young girl receive the Holy Ghost here tonight. Let every young man be filled with the power of the Holy Ghost here tonight. Man, this is awesome when young people. 
get in front of young people prompted by the Spirit of God and begin to pray. If you're called to preach in any capacity, it don't matter if you don't have a pulpit. It, 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 that, ain't, that ain't got nothing to do with it. You may have never preached before in your life, but you know God's called you. Or you may have a season in ministry. The Holy Ghost said, come stand upon my platform this night. Right up here where I'm at. I don't know what I'm going to do because I'm going to try my best not to do nothing. People sometimes ask, what you going to do? I don't know because it ain't mine. All I know is in part, and so I prophesy in part, and the part I hear right now is tell my anointed, those whom I have called to preach, to come to my platform. My God, now I'm here, I'm here in part two. Right here, right here. Lord, I, I, I praise you. This is the Lord's doings and it's marvelous in my eyes. This don't make me some hierarchy in the anointing above any of those that I'm about to pray for either. So don't, don't see it itself. We're all on the same level. Holy Ghost up here. I just heard the Lord say there's somebody supposed to be up here and they're sitting back thinking about I don't know, I shouldn't be up there with that, that group. I, you don't even feel worthy to come up here. You better get yourself up here. Brothers to work with me. Where brother Shorty goes, y'all better be behind me. 